President of the United States, Tim Wall. Thank you, Madam Vice President, for the trust you put in me, but maybe more so, thank you for bringing back the joy. <laughs> Minnesota strength comes from our values, our commitment to working together, to seeing past our differences, to always being willing to lend a helping hand. Those are the same values I learned on the family farm and tried to instill in my students. Donald Trump sees the world a little differently than us. First of all, he doesn't know the first thing about service. He doesn't have time for it because he's too busy serving himself. He mocks our laws. He sows chaos and division. He froze in the face of the COVID crisis. And make no mistake, violent crime was up under Donald Trump. That's not even counting the crimes he committed. In Minnesota, we respect our neighbors and their personal choices that they make. Even if we wouldn't make the same choice for ourselves, there's a golden rule. Mind your own damn business. And don't believe him when he plays dumb. He knows exactly what Project 2025 will do to restrict our freedoms. J.D. Vance literally literally wrote the foreword for the architect of the Project 2025 agenda. Like all regular people I grew up with in the heartland, J.D. studied at Yale, had his career funded by Silicon Valley billionaires, and then wrote a bestseller trashing that community. Come on! That's not what middle America is. And I got to tell you, I can't wait to debate the guy. That is, is if, you, if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So, I got to tell you, pointing out just an observation of mine that I, I, that I made, I just have to say it. You know it, you feel it. These guys are creepy and yes, just weird as hell. That's what you see. That's what you see. She believes in the promise of America. We just got to fight. We just got to fight. Because as soon to be President Harris says, when we fight, we win!